What is love? Tis not hereafter. Present mirth hath present laughter. What's to come is still unsure. In delay, there lies no plenty. So come and kiss me, sweet and twenty. Youth's a stuff will not endure. Why should I love this gentleman? Tis odds he never will affect me. I am base, my father, the mean keeper of his prison, and he a prince. To marry him is hopeless, to be his friend is witless. Out upon! What pushes are we wenches driven to when fifteen once has found us? First, I saw him. I, seeing, thought he was a goodly man. Next I pitied him, and so would any young wench owe my conscience. And then, I loved him, extremely loved him, infinitely loved him. And yet, he had a cousin, fair as he too. But in my heart, was Palamon, and there, Lord, what a coil he keeps. Once he kissed me, I loved my lips the better ten days after, which he would do so every day. What should I do to make him know I love him? Make me a willow cabin at your gate, and call upon my soul within the house. Write loyal cantons of contemned love, and sing them loud even in the dead of night. Holla your name to the reverberate hills, and make the babbling gossip of the air. Cry out, Olivia! Oh, you should not rest between the elements of air and earth, but you should pity me. You might do much. How happy some, or other some, can be. Through Athens, I'm thought as fair as she. But what of that? Demetrius thinks not so. He will not know what all but he do know. And as he errs, doting on Hermes' eyes, so I, admiring of his qualities, things base and vile, holding no quantity, love can transpose to form and dignity. Love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind, and therefore is winged Cupid painted blind. For ere Demetrius looked on Hermia's eye, he hailed on oaths that he was only mine. But when this hail some heat from Hermia felt, so he dissolved, and his showers of oaths did melt. But herein mean I to enrich my pain, to have his sight thither and back again. <laughs> Romeo, deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou wilt not, be but sworn my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Tis but thy name that is my enemy. Thou art thyself, though not a Montague. What's Montague? It is nor hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any other part belonging to a man. Oh, be some other name! What's in a name, that which we call a rose? By any other word would smell sweet. So Romeo would, if he were not Romeo called. 
retain that dear perfection which he owes without that title. Romeo, jot thy name, and for thy name which is no part of thee, take all myself. <laughs> Therefore pursue me not! Cannot fight for love as men may do. We should be wooed and we're not made to woo. Let me go! <laughs> the course of true love never did run smooth. Our revels now are ended. These are actors as I foretold you. We're all spirits and are melted into air. Into thin air. And like this baseless fabric of this vision, the cloud-capped towers, the gorgeous palaces, the solemn temples, the great globe itself, yea, all which it inherits shall dissolve. And like this insubstantial pageant faded, leave not a rack behind. We are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. <laughs>